nice little homecoming for you. Yeah, it's nice to always play here. Um, you know, some family and friends in the crowd and, um, you know, come away with the win, which is nice. Have you been a part of a game where there's been five special teams goals uh, in a win? No, that's a lot. Um, you know, it's nice we can get the power play going and then our penalty kill is pretty good. Um, you know, only give up a five on three, which is, uh, you know, pretty good for how many penalties we took. So, um, you know, I think that's a big part of why we won the game. Just two. From where you came from, Alex, to get to 500 after 30 games, what does that mean? Yeah, it's uh, it's big. I think uh, you know we can't let off the gas. We got to keep going. Um, you know, I think everyone's you know feeling more comfortable with their game now, and um, you know the way we play, we're, we're used to it now. And we just got to come in every night and um, you know do the same thing. We're gonna win the win some games. DJ was saying just get back in the pack, which you've done. Like. Do you think, like, going this year with playoffs a goal, is that something you think about at this stage? Um, yeah, I mean, going into the year is definitely the goal. Um, you know, during the year, you, you're you not really point watching, but you kind of know where you're at at all times. Um, you know, and when we drop down, you know, you got to win as many games as possible and get points in as many games. So um, I think we've done a good job of that. Um, you know, we're working hard each night, and, um, you know, it's going for us right now. So that's good. Overall, like not just tonight, but why has the power play been so hot? Like, what adjustments did you make? What's what's worked better? Um, I think we've get, done a good job of moving the puck quick. Um, you know, we have so many different threats out there. So, um, you know, as a penalty kill, I'm sure it's hard to cover them all. And um, you know, I think we got a lot of skilled players out there. So, um, yeah, it's just been going in for us. Um, you know, it's not always pretty, but you know, when it goes in, it doesn't really matter how it goes in. So, um, you know, hopefully that, that keeps rolling. Alex, we talk lots about your goal scoring ability, but over the last two games you've had, excuse me, six assists. Uh, is that uh, playmaking ability kind of a conscious effort right now or just uh, the chemistry firing on all cylinders? Yeah, I think chemistry's going. I think, uh, you know, still looking for some shots, but, you know, when the play's open, I'm trying to get it there. And, um, you know, we got guys who can finish. So, um, you know, that's been good. And it's been fun to, you know, put some pucks in the back of the net and, uh, you know, win some games here. Uh, today's result? Just boost the confidence going into the situation there. You have back to backs. Yeah, for sure. Back to backs are always hard, and um, you know we got to come ready to play tomorrow. Um, you know, maybe your net legs aren't always going to be there, but we got to play the same game and um, you know stick to our system, and that's going to help us along the way. From your angle, did Drake have any net to shoot at on that goal? Um, I kind of saw. Him. I knew right when I gave it to him he was going to try that. Um, you know, it didn't look like he had much, but I think it hit the post in the back of his mask. So, um, you know, he put in the perfect spot, and that's pretty much the only spot he would have been able to score. So that's pretty impressive. These interdivision wins mean a little bit more. Huge. Um, four point swings there. So it's uh, um, yeah, it's always huge games. It's always uh, fun playing those uh, di divisional games, like you said. And, and uh, yeah, we needed that one tonight uh, to kind of close the gap there a little bit. This is another uh, effort, strong third period effort that uh, gets you this victory. At uh, that month in November, we'll probably find a way to lose that game, but uh, we have that confidence amongst ourselves now and that uh, all the lessons we've learned from the beginning of the season. So uh, we're comfortable in those positions now. We're uh, comfortable that we can elevate our game uh, even more in those positions when, when it matters the most. So, um, yeah, we're, uh, we're loving those situations, and, and uh, uh, but also we're not going to get complacent. We had a keep finding ways to improve and I think uh, we can look at different aspects of our game to improve on and, and uh, to be ready to go for tomorrow. Does that mean kind of scoring earlier on a power play? What's what's going on here? <laughs> Things are clicking but uh, I know there's a couple times where uh, we can bear down even more so um, yeah I think uh, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really know it's just as long as we keep going and, and keep uh, keep working to get pucks back I think that's the biggest uh, um, identity quality that we need to have is, is working to get pucks back. For, like I've been around your team, for a guy like me, what, what lessons did you learn early in the year? Where do you think things turned around? I think, what, to be honest, I think we're a little uncomfortable um, in those types of games, those uh, uh, kind of to, for Ty to get to overtime or to um, get that next goal to win the game. But, uh, um, you know, there's there's times where, uh, you know, make a mistake and ends up in the back of the net. So I think for us is that we're playing our game right to the end and we're playing uh, – um, even more simple um, in the third period just to just to get the job done. And, and yeah, uh, we got a goal early, and we just wanted to um, not sit back but just keep playing our game, keep getting pucks behind them, and, and just uh, making it you know, 200 feet to get to, uh, to our net. For good reason, lots of talk about the success of the power play. What kind of momentum does a solid penalty kill give the hockey team? Huge. It's... Um, 
they stepped up tonight. Um, a lot of great uh, um, plays by a lot of guys, a lot of good shares to get out of the zone. But, uh, yeah, everyone stepped up tonight, top to bottom. It's uh, in all situations of our game. It's, uh, it's a little bit of a weird, uh, weird flow in the five-on-five five aspect. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think special teams stepped up tonight and got the job done. What is Alex Dupree in Gats game right, right now? He's been great. He's been great for us all year. Even though he wasn't scoring, he was still uh, creating so many chances, and, and uh, he's an unreal player. It's uh, uh, everyone knows that, and I think, uh, of course, coming to a new team, new environment must be a, um, I wouldn't say a challenge, but different. So, but uh, I think for us, we just try to welcome him with open arms, make him feel comfortable from day one. But uh, um, yeah, I mean, he's he's been a, a star in this league, and and. Uh, Everyone knows what type of player he is, so it's uh, it's fun to you know, be out there with him and, and get to know him this year. And, and uh, yeah, uh, it's been uh, it's been fun to play with him. What's Drew added hockey wise, and has he helped you at all, you know, leadership wise? Absolutely, I think uh, you know every day. It's, I feel like I'm learning something new from him, and, and uh, you know I'm fortunate I've got to be pr- really close with him, so I'll be able to talk to him about you know different things, different scenarios, but. Uh, yeah, just on ice. It's just uh, being able to play with him. It's uh, it's pretty cool. I remember watching him growing up, and and uh, uh, it's funny. We we're actually going through uh, we we're going through pictures, and, and uh, he looked up on Google that uh, I played against uh, you know my dad too. So it's pretty funny in that aspect that we have a little, couple laughs there. But uh, but uh, yeah, it's great. It's a, he's such a smart player. So to be able to you know give him goes out there with him, it's uh, and I've learned a lot by uh, being with him. Put you in the spot. Do you have a good story? Like a good. Like situation, he told you something or something. Well, I don't know. Uh, I mean, the other day I saw a video of uh, him in warmups. I think it was in the playoffs against Pittsburgh, and he did the fake throw to a Pittsburgh fan for a puck, and and he just brought it back down to the ice. So we actually were talking about that recently, and he said that uh, the guy was just giving it to him all warm up. So he's uh, he's like, hey, you want a puck in warm ups? Fake through it, and just uh, the guy got pretty upset with him. So it was pretty funny there. So you use that one yourself. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. It looked like right before his goal today that you tried the uh, through the legs from behind the net. What does that say about just like your confidence right now to be able to try those kind of things? And... Yeah, I just uh, thought it was the right play, but uh, yeah, it didn't work out. But uh, I ended up in the back of that, so it's uh, that was a big goal for for G and for our team to to get the job done tonight. Brady was saying you were looking at videos the other day and kind of laughing about how you played against his dad. Does that make you feel old? Does it make you feel young because you're still playing well? Like, No, nah, we, we were just talking how we don't have any pictures together, me and him. So uh, went on the net, tried to find a picture, and wrote Giroux and Kachuk, and the first one was me me and his dad. So uh, it's a dirty hit, but uh, uh, no, we, we definitely laughed about it. What would you like most about this game here today? Uh, I didn't think we were playing too well. The first two periods, I think the power played a good job of getting the goals to stay in the game. But uh, the third period is probably our best period. Um, you know, we we responsible, and that's how we want to. Uh, early in the season, we weren't winning these games, and now we're. I I feel like we're learning how to play in the third period, and um, you know, you just gotta wait for your chances. I was just gonna say, is this all about mentality? Brady just finished saying as well that maybe in November. 3-3 three, three hockey game going into the third, you might have lost it. Yeah, I think we have a little bit more confidence in 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 ourselves and how we play as a team. Uh, we know that if we stick to the game plan, uh, it's going to give us a chance to win at the end. So um, it definitely uh, feels good when it's 3-3 three, three going to the third and you can find a way to uh, to win the game. You, you have gotten back to 500 with this win. Does that mean anything? You know, you're at the 30-game mark. With the start we had, I think uh, you know, it's something to be proud of. Uh, you know, uh, at one point there it didn't look too good for us, and uh, you know started putting a few games together. And uh, we just have to keep being consistent in how we play. And uh, if we're consistent, uh, we're we're going to be in every game. And then then it's about uh, finding a way to win. Was it easier to be consistent though when you're confident? Yeah, I mean, like I said before, when we were losing these games in the third period. Uh, I think our we didn't believe in ourselves that if we play our game we're gonna we're gonna find a way to win and now that we're actually doing it and we're getting the results, uh, it's easier to be uh, uh, to be confident and uh, if we play our game we're gonna uh, we're, we're gonna give ourselves a really good chance to win. Well, 
Claude, on your goal there, uh, it seemed like when you got the puck, you showed some patience and, and picked your spot. Can you walk us through what you saw there? Yeah, uh, yeah. when I got it, um, you know, I didn't really want to shoot it, and then I was able to, I saw a hole, and I just tried to, uh, to get it on net. There was kind of bodies everywhere, and uh, saw Brady on his back, so just trying to, uh, to hit the net. If I miss the net, it's going out of the zone. So, um, yeah, it was a good feeling. It's 30 games in. What's your adjustment to this team like? Has it been fun? Um, like, what words would you describe this adjustment to a new place? Yeah, like I said before, I didn't think uh, we like it this much. I mean, these guys are, are all, they're all clowns and come to the rink and we we have a lot of fun and, uh, you know, we have no clicks. We just, everybody comes to the rink and do our job. We work hard and uh, we have a, a really good time. So um, uh, it's been a blast. And, I think that's one of the reasons also why why we're starting to win games is we're playing for one another. Only even strength goal of the night goes to you this afternoon. Um, was the plan to bank it off the post, the back of the helmet, and into the net? Yeah, no, I just kind of had some time over there. Boys were making some nice plays, kind of got open, and just tried to catch goalie by a surprise, and uh, I think it went in off his helmet or something. So, no, I'll take it. <laughs> what did you think of your team's overall performance here today? Yeah, I mean, it was a weird game. Um, like you said, kind of, there's a lot of power plays. I didn't really feel like we had a lot of five on five, but those are, there's going to be games like that. And, you know, we found a way to win. Talbot's made some uh, good stops, too. How key was the ability to to win in the third period, To Like, you know, you go into that third period tied 3-3, three, three, and you come out with three straight goals. Yeah, no, obviously a big goal there by uh, by G, and then Parker uh, makes an unbelievable play at Amater. So, huge goal they scored, PK goal too. So, you know, it was awesome to you know see the play they, those guys made for for a big goal for us. Wins like this give you a lot more energy going into the second half of a back to back. Yeah, no, it's nice. I feel like the one o'clock on the back to back is is kind of nice too. You get the full rest of the night here and just kind of go out for dinner when we land, and then right back at it tomorrow. So. No, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. I like playing in Minnesota. Drake, what can you say about the performance of the power play lately? Seems to just not be missing. Yeah, I mean, I feel like power plays are up and down the season. Um, for the most part, I feel like it's been pretty good this year. Um, lots of skill out there. The guys, I think, are just playing hockey. Obviously, we have some some plays and stuff, but. We're just going with the flow and making plays, and things do seem to be going in. I don't know if you're aware of this, but your second goal tonight was your 50th career goal. On a personal note, what uh, what does that mean to you? Yeah, it's cool. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I seem to be getting the bounces as of late, so it's always nice. And uh, yeah, just kind of picking up the the trash in front there. So <laughs> no, no, I'll take it. <laughs> Drew said he's having a blast, and he said this with like love. He said a bunch of clowns in there were having a good time. It's partly why we're playing well. What's it like have? Like, how's the 34-year-old in the room? Like, how's he blending with all the young guys? Yeah, it's awesome. He's the best. I mean, I feel like like when I'm talking to him, I feel like I'm talking to a guy my age. You know, he's been around for such a long time, got some unbelievable stories, and keeps it loose in there at the same time. Shows up to work every day and a great leader for us. So, you know, we're lucky to have him.